Okay, the new Sea of Thieves news video, live commentary from Hippo TC. Let's watch this video. Are we ready? Are we prepared for whatever this is gonna be? Hello and welcome to another episode of Sea of Thieves news. Coming up, luck is on our side with new Outpost store offerings. Drew's back with more information on exciting changes coming to the game. And we take a sneak peek at what to expect in Season 14. ba da da, -da. Puke! We've had puke for years! Season 14 launches on October 17th, introducing new ways for you to play stealthily. With whoa, new whoa, tools, whoa, 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 weapon. whoa, 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 what's that? Show me again new ways for you to play oh, stealthily oh. with new tools, weapons, and a treasure trove of rewards to earn as well. The new features, Hold weapons, on. and a treasure trove of rewards. So ninjas? To earn as well. Are we doing, are we doing ninjas? That's bat dog. That's dog man. Well, the new features of season 14 will shake what the f is our trove of rewards to earn as well. Are they shooting explosions? The new features of season 14 will shake up how you approach your encounters with other players and are perfect for pirates who like to be a little <laughs> mischievous. We'll be revealing all of the features and rewards included in season a Shut little the front door. encounters with other players that and are perfect to... <laughs> for pirates who like to be a little oh, mischievous. We'll so be revealing funny. all of the features and rewards included in season 14 soon. So keep an eye on our social channels for more information. When season 14 launches on October 17th, we'll also be adding new items to the outpost stores. If you're in the mood for a more casual look, these colorful wrap style shirts are the perfect addition to any pirate's clothing chest. People like that. But if you're out to impress, you can stack the deck in your favor with the Lucky Hand ship set. About any time. Any seasoned sailor knows that setting sail for adventure is a throw of the dice. But play your cards right, and the rewards could That's be pretty vast. good. I like this. And for those who prefer to make their own luck, there's some fetching Lucky Hand weapons too. We can't guarantee they'll help you beat cool. the odds in a fight, but, like, but at least looks you'll weird. look cool. Sure looks weird. An intimidating getup should be part this of any great. pirate's playbook. And with the rusted skulls, clothing, oh! accessories, makeup, I'll, and tattoo. Ah! Yes! Thank you! Can you do this to everything, please? This is what we want. Rustic stuff. Things that make you look like a pirate. Not a... Blueberry. Yes, baby. You'll find these ghoulish garments will strike fear into the roughest of rivals. Now, let's check in with production director Drew Stevens for updates about what new and exciting changes are coming to the game. I don't care if it's reskin, I just want the color, the rustic colors. Hey everyone. Up, I just want to kick off and reiterate where we're focused as a team. Tell me, I've seen this. We know Tell that me. there are issues affecting players across a few key areas. And I wanted to reinforce you don't that say, the team Drew. are working hard to improve the experience <laughs> for everyone. From a game health perspective, we're focusing on anti-cheat, player safety, and game performance. First Those up, anti-cheat. While we defense. have EAC helping combat the attacks of our cheat developers, we know this is not enough. We have a dedicated team working on game security, reacting to cheats as they surface, working to disrupt future cheat development, and audit our systems so we can work more systematically to counter this offensive. Good. The team recently introduced detections for ship teleporting, for flying players, uh -oh. and trident manipulation, yeah! resulting in players becoming auto-banned when attempting to use them. auto -band Next nerds! Up, player safety. It's often through the use of cheat tools that members of our community meet those with malicious it's intent. It's true. So progress Bunch of naughty security people. efforts should begin to reduce these interactions. Bunch of goobers. Alongside this, we're also working on improved profanity filtering for text chat, disruption to stream sniping, and tools to enforce chat bans behind the scenes for... Disruption to stream sniping. Question, can we just not have a, the profanity filter? Can that be something that we control as players? 
so that we can like you know grab screenshots of people that are saying the naughty stuff that we can report them players who abuse the system and then game performance game performance this has been a big issue affecting players yes and has been for some time now big. the team are working behind the scenes to overhaul a number of systems We've heard this. with a focus on optimizing how ships are loaded onto servers yep this is an area we see having large impact following the introduction of hourglass and season 11's diving this is complex work, and therefore timelines are unpredictable. But we have a big team working in this area, and we're focusing on the big improvements. While we're focused on these three key areas from a game health perspective, underpinning all of that is our ability to deliver updates at quality. Our last update in September didn't hit the quality bar that we strive for, and it was really disappointing to see high impact issues make their way to live. I'm gonna be honest with you, Drew, if you watch this, uh, we forgive you on a condition it's a conditional forgiveness we want more gilded voyages i tell you what just do this for us every update gilded voyage and if there's any problems we won't even think about it because we got the gilded voyages okay we we're good with this just give us preemptively on the front hand end of it front end just give us we can be bought okay we've been we've been around the block yeah we've been here we get it the game does not work that great all the time most of the time and we're okay with this just guilt gilded voyages just preemptively like update day gilded voyages we won't complain as much we're assessing changes to our internal test processes, ways to improve the flow of information in insiders, As and some changes to our release process. 60% of the time we won't complain every time. ahead of future updates. Now, on to season 14, our sneakiest season so far. Yeah, do our tell me. season introduces a host of new tools to encourage yep. players to be even more mischievous than ever before. With the armory expanding again this season, I wanted to share a change that we'll be making alongside it. We feel that the decisions players make at the armory when choosing a tactical loadout should no carry more weight, shot. with the right loadout providing them an advantage, but the wrong one coming with potential consequences. Well, well, Season 14 well. will make the armory found on players' ships only accessible to the crew, meaning that- Get absolutely wrecked! That is fantastic! I know not everyone's going to agree with that, but I think that's a fantastic change. You should be locked in- hold on. Is anyone coming to kill me? Hold on, I'm checking, 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 I'm checking. I don't see any boats coming to kill me. Okay. Um that's a fantastic change. I do believe people should be locked into their choices that you make when you go to board another boat. And I don't think you should be able to switch it out. If the grapple gun is gonna come in, I was thinking about this a lot. I posted this, so I don't know if they listened or not, but I really was thinking about it. It's like if you are a lot if you choose to use the grapple gun to board a boat. You should be locked into it. Boom. I'm fine with ammo, but the armory? The players will now have to make a tactical decision before leaving yeah, the ship. Yeah, tactics, and nerds. Stick with that decision during the encounter. This is a change that we've wanted to make for some time. And with the armory expanding in season 14, with its first tool, not a weapon, we feel now is the right time to make this change. While we're here, yeah, we want to focus on the grapple gun, I'm a new cool traversal there. tool that we teased during the 2024 preview event earlier in the year. Our early footage showed how vast the possibilities were for this tool, and how its traversal focus could change up navigation on islands, and bring versatility into combat encounters. We showed this feature incredibly early in development, while we were in the find the fun part of prototyping, where frankly everything is on the table. However, we knew a key consideration was going to be the careful balance between the fun of freely grappling around the world and the impact of the boarding meta and naval combat as a whole. We weren't surprised that this became a hot topic following the reveal, and we've seen lots of great discussions from our players, insiders, creators, and even our very own Captain Falcor making a catchy song about its introduction. Grapple gun is silly! Grapple gun is silly! Oh, I knew it was coming, baby! Grapple gun is silly! The song did it! The game! Oh, break the game! Oh, break the game! We don't want it! We don't need it! Fix! Hit! Reg! Yo, the mu music works! Music works, chat! Bow, 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 bow,
you do? Grab a gun is silly. Grab a gun is silly. I don't know. We all break the game. Oh, break the game. Oh, break the game. We don't want it. We don't need it. Six hit red. Let's go. This is great news. Okay, that's great. Ha <laughs> ha! Music is powerful! We've taken balancing pretty seriously here. And we've. I wonder, I wonder how much that song is going to haunt their dreams. <laughs> Prioritize the experience of our smallest ship and crew when assessing the impact of boarding during naval combat. Our design principle for the grapple gun is that this traversal tool will not allow players to bypass the side ladders and gain an easier entry onto our smaller ships, such as the sloop and brigantine. Yo! Sure, this can still be used to grapple onto side ladders from a distance or to reposition oh, alongside so a ship during a chase. But crucially, players will not be able to grapple directly oh, on board from the sea Walker! or grapple down to the deck from above. Let's the galleon, go! however, as a larger, well-crewed vessel will now have additional vulnerability, Let's go! providing this players with a few new sneaky routes to get on board. If the crew are suitably distracted, of course. Now, this is a pretty significant change to what we showed back in March. And I'm sure some of you will be a bit disappointed at some of the combat nope. restrictions that we've placed here. Thank you! But trust that this topic has had very careful consideration. We love you, Drew! This, this is the best news! I am so excited for season 14 now! Experience. We feel really good with where we've landed with this new tool arriving in season 14. And we can't wait to see what mischief it creates when players get their sneaky little hands on it. And yeah! With that, I'll let you get back to the rest of the news. Thank Catch you, you Drew! We love you! Everyone, hearts! We love you, Drew! Thank you for listening, Rare! From the 10th I'm so to the excited. 17th of October, we're bringing back the Gilded Voyages event. Yes! Each player will receive a Gilded Voyage. Yes! Gold everyone, orders, Gilded Voyages, do them so I can Alliance, steal them! The Order of Souls, <laughs> and Athena's <laughs> Fortune. Embark on these voyages, and you and your crew can uncover boatloads of valuable loot. Oh, yes! Four to celebrate the launch legends. of Season 14, we're running Twitch Drops for everyone. From the Twitch 17th drops. to the 21st of October, watch any participating stream on Twitch, and you could earn the Seasoned Sailor Pistol and the Sage Sea Dog Shovel and Drum. For Drums. more information on Twitch Drops and how to sign up, visit seaofthieves.com forward slash twitch dash drops. The much big, sought big, after big, big, Sea big. of Thieves vinyl soundtrack is now back in stock at I Am 8-Bit. With three LPs packed full of treasured tracks, from sweeping orchestral epicness to jauntily infectious sea shanties, it's the perfect accompaniment to an awesome adventure. Grab your set from IAm8Bit.com while Woo stocks last. We're also adding to the ever-expanding Sea of Thieves soundtrack with our new tune, Making Mischief. This track reflects the sneaky tone of the new features of Season 14, and you can get an early listen when it lands on streaming services on October 11th. This is very exciting. And that's it for another episode. If you liked what you just saw, and you oh, want to man. stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then remember to like, Um... Quick thoughts. Uh, I'm actually excited for season 14 now. I gotta be honest with you. The the change to the armory and then uh, the grapple gun not being a thing that will absolutely let you get onto a sloop or a brig. I don't really care about brigs, but whatever. Uh, in any way and, and from anywhere is awesome. This gives me hope. I'm very excited. Let's get it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, Falcor, for making the song. Thank you, community, for giving the feedback. We're very excited. What the? F Just saw a person on my boat. Dang. The hell? <laughs> yeah. Bro. Get the f out of here, bro! Trying to talk on my boat? What the hell? We think this is. 
my first gosh darn rodeo, bro. You got, you couldn't even tuck on my boat and I was distracted. Now, where did the hell, did he just swim? Where'd he come from? <laughs>